Welcome to another PointWise Tutorial Tuesday video where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In this tutorial video we will demonstrate an advanced hyperbolic extrusion of a multi-element airfoil. Here's the multi-element airfoil, element 1, 2, and 3. Some of the surface features, uh, convex and concave surfaces that may pose a problem for the extrusion. Getting right to it, we'll select all the connectors and then we'll go to Create, Extrude Normal, and then we'll begin to define our own path, so we'll delete all the edges and then we'll start choosing the connectors in the correct sequence and we'll make sure that when we come back around on the other side of the loop that we select the branch connectors again to successfully define again the surface that will be extruded. Once the edges have been selected, we want to save those edges and hit Done. and now the user defined criteria can be set. First the initial spacing 2E minus 5 uh, and then we're going on to a, a stop condition we're going to use total height of 2400 and then some of the smoothing parameters the explicit and implicit parameters the Kinsey Barth parameter which modifies the grid's resistance to crossing of grid lines during the extrusion process and then the volume parameter which maintains the extrusion front as long as possible. First we'll extrude the surface out 500 steps you can see the extrusion front marching away from the center. Looks like we hit our stop criteria of 2400, so we'll delete these cells that violate that stopping condition. I'll take a look at the extrusion. Here are some of the more complicated features. As you can see, these enclosed areas can be difficult for extrusions, but it looks like the software handled it quite nicely. We'll use the restart functionality here to discuss a second type of extrusion methodology. So hit restart and that blows away the initial extrusion, single pass extrusion we did. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to run uh, a multi-layered extrusion process. So we'll start with 20 layers if you like the parameters you'd set previously. Uh, so you can run that 20 layers uh, and then you can take a look at your parameters, change them as you'd like. Uh, select the number of steps you want to run on your second layer and hit run and it'll extrude from the previous extrusion front. And then you can continue this process and as long as you'd like until you hit, a, again, a certain uh, stop total height condition or you have a certain number of steps in mind. Uh, but then again, you'll just continue straight from the uh, second extrusion front until your mesh is completed. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.